Next speaker, Mrs. Canelli, on behalf of the United Left. Thank you, Madam President. I would like to point out and urge all of you, 70 years after the huge, big, historical anti-Nazi victory in Europe, to understand that Europe now, in its broader idea, faces a political mangalism that tries to equalize Nazism and communism. And there is a phantom over Europe based on difficult situations, extreme situations, like the war times now, paid by the European taxpayers in Ukraine, where the last few days, just about a week ago, we had anti-communist law, banning communists of everything, accusing them of everything. They are not in a position not even to mention or quote anybody that's connected with communism. And I have to remind to these colleagues of all the countries in the Council of Europe, about 10 years ago, we avoided equalizing Nazism, which is a criminal ideology and a criminal practice with communism, which might be the dream of a better world and to whom we owe a lot of the human rights we are defending and practicing here today. I urge you to stand against President of Ukraine not to sign the anti-communist law. We have already in Ukraine communists and only communists accused of everything that's happening in this tormented country. And I come from Greece where the Communist Party has about a hundred years of life in a democracy in the 21st century where the Nazis are standing trial now that began today. Bear in mind that in difficult economical situations, in appraisals and civil wars, fascism and Nazism begin their colossal anti-human job by hunting communists. Then they're gonna be the Democrats, then they're gonna be the Jews, then they're gonna be the Muslims. We've seen the play played in history. Let's stop applauding this idea. Anti-communism is the first step of every and any without nationality criteria fascist and Nazi in the world. I urge you not to permit it. Thank you.